thread unionists and rights activists on the streets of Abuja. <laughs> They are keen on voicing their opposition to the 45% hike in electricity tariff. And the activists are not ready to stop plans to picket power firms as part of efforts to drive home their demand for a reversal of the new tariff. The first spot of call is the office of the Abuja Electricity Distribution Company. Money that Nigerian workers saved in the banks, they took loans from those banks to buy these enterprises, and yet, and yet, the Nigerian government is still bailing them out. There is an intervention from, from the CBN to bail them out again. After, after stealing our money, and they cannot perform. So now they want to visit their incompetence on us. They want to tax us for their incompetence. The fight back begins today. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 no. We are all together on this tariff, you know, I mean, increment issue. Because we believe that these are sacrifices that we really need to make if we want to move this uh, sector forward. Basically, this is what we are saying. On our part, we will continue to meet our obligations to our customers in line with the service agreements that we've signed with the government. At many of the offices marked for the picketing, the protesters made it clear that the laws of the land must be used to protect the average Nigerian worker. Workers of Nigeria will not tolerate any policy. I try to The Nigerian people, the Nigerian trade union center, all the civil societies will gather together to resist any attempt to impose punitive measures in anywhere, any part of the country, in any part of the economy. The activists also vowed to continue picketing until they get favorable results on their demands. to say no, to say no to any electricity tariff increase. We are saying that you get back to the old order or we continue to picket your offices. Organized labor and its civil society partners also took their bid to reverse the new tariff to the National Assembly, where Senate President Bukola Saraki assured them that the Senate had set up a 10-man committee to look into the matter.